Hi Felicities, this is Jen Victor and you're tuned back into the channel with no name. I'm really excited to do this video. I have like energy to get videos done. I know kind of off-center. I'm trying out like kind of different setups um, and really quick Sorry if I'm kind of like, hopefully the white, it's like different shades of white. I'm just wearing this shirt because it's really comfortable. Um, but yeah, so today we are doing not, a, not necessarily a bag review, it's more of a bag reveal slash having a conversation about luxury and just the high price of it and how ridiculous it is. And um, it's kind of where I've been at with luxury handbags and like buying things new, buying things in store. And even sometimes like, I think y'all have seen a lot of folks have tuned into the episode that I did about like kind of like luxury dupes. Um, the all, the different bags I have that are like bag rep, uh, not replicas, but like dupes of obviously the higher end ones. And so I recently picked up a bag, and I'm going to introduce and kind of talk about this whole thought process because uh, I watched a YouTube video of the bag that it's actually inspired from, and it just reminded me of why I kind of and this is specifically in reference to a Chanel bag. So I'm just going to actually show it first. So this is the bag that I featured on my Instagram, Fierce Renegade, and obviously it's clearly inspired from the like the iconic style of uh, one of the Chanel shoulder flap with the reissue Mademoiselle Luck. And the reason why I wanted to talk about this is because I had posted this on my Instagram and a lot of folks were asking about it. Um, I picked this up from Francesca's collection and originally it was like 19 bucks before tax and it was on sale and so I had gotten this for $15. It's a see-through clear bag that can be worn as a shoulder bag um, with one, with like one one like chain or doubled up and it obviously is inspired from the Chanel flap and the reason why I wanted to talk about it is because when I had picked up the bag I actually remember seeing and I'm gonna pull it up um, HRH collection talk about a, her $2 Chanel bag and I didn't understand what she was talking about um, so I'm gonna show the bag first and so this is the bag that Chanel recently ooh it's so bright See, this is me trying to be somewhat prepped for these things, you know, since I don't edit. This is the bagging question. So I'm trying to kind of center it. Boop, 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 boop. So if you watch her video, and I actually pulled up the video since it's one of the few videos I've recently watched of her. Um, I, if you watch this, she talks about her $2 Chanel bag because basically it's a plastic bag. But she talks about the cost of it and it's like $2,600 which is obscene. That's absurd to pay for a plastic bag that I got for 15 bucks. And I think I had posted this like right when I got it and I first used it. I was like, man, HRH collection be spending like 2.6k of money and I just got a $15 bag and everybody's asking about it. And she even goes on to say that she would have liked a simpler like black see-through um, leather th trim bag rather than the multicolored. And I'm not throwing any shade at her. I actually enjoyed the video since it was hilarious. She's like, Chanel's laughing at us. And it's true. This is what capitalism and all these corporate luxury business makers are doing. They're producing items that are, you know, really like made at a fraction of the price that they're being sold and the thing that gets me is they made a plastic bag and I think one of the other things that actually kind of has irked me about it is like I recently saw a post of like the Chanel Rain cover bag and I'm like cool but seriously I think it was it was it seven hundred dollars it's like for plastic mang and I get that like there's a leather trim and it's like it's Chanel like the the history and the iconic like you know like I don't know I don't want to say status symbol, but it, it like, it, 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 it recalls this legacy, right? The handbag is a huge fashion house, but I just think it's crazy that people are willing to spend that much. And that's honestly why if you notice, I don't really buy a lot of new high-end bags. I really got on the pre-love market because A, it's not just like the cost of it, which I'm like, well, if I can get it cheaper, that's fine. But it's really the quality. Like, I don't think it makes sense to pay $2,600 for plastic. Um, and I know it's even like the pre-love prices are still kind of insane with, with any bag, you know, any luxury bag. But at the end of the day, like this, t this price of $2,600 versus $15, I will go to Francesca's collection and buy four more of these and I'll freaking like do a giveaway. If I find another one, hold me to it. If I find another one, I will do a giveaway of 
of um, this bag because they think it's really cute. It's super simple. And like, look at it. Like, I, you get to put all your cutesy stuff. Um, if you see, I have like, uh, and I'm actually, it just opens up the, the same way. And it's actually not that, like, it doesn't, it does it doesn't have all these bells and whistles it's just a bag it's a shoulder bag and you put stuff in it and if you have cute like little pouches you can you can show it off um or get robbed <laughs> but yeah i think that's kind of where i've been with luxury and it's a conversation i've been having throughout this channel is like why you know why i was over chanel like you're buying pieces like you're buying pieces at X thousands of dollars and then the stitching's coming up or um, the lambskin doesn't hold up as it does compared to like vintage lambskin. And and so if we think about, you know, the cost of luxury, isn't that part of it? The quality is supposed to be impeccable. And then you're getting all these problems and the service you're getting, whether A, in buying the bag in the process or even repairing it, it's just kind of subpar. Like, I honestly, I, I took somebody out shopping recently and they were like amazed, just like, even like the Nordstrom's, you know, the Nordstrom's, the Nordstrom sh um, store, just how some of the um, client advisors are really helpful and actually not snooty or snobby, but genuinely wanted to address your concerns and help you make the best decision, whether it was on a bag or a piece of clothing. And you walk into these luxury stores and what are we really paying for? I'm not paying X amount of money to be treated, you know, rudely. Um, and so... It's kind of like, this is more than just obviously the cost of a bag, a plastic bag, where, you know, um, HRH collection joke, like hers was $2. This is, was probably made like less than $2. Hers, since there's a little leather and whatever kind of plating they use on the hardware, it might be a couple bucks, but it definitely is not worth $2,600. And I'm sure, you know, like at the end, like she probably got great service because she's a regular at Chanel, but what about other folks that are like coming in, you know, for the first time? So, Basically for me, like the moral of the story or the lesson is, you know, buy what gives you joy, buy what makes you smile, buy, you know, what you're going to enjoy. And it doesn't matter what brand it is, if it has a name or not, like who knows what Francesca's collection is. Um, by the way, I tried to look this up online. It's not available in line, online. And so if I, like I said, if I do find one, the first thing I'll do is reveal it and do a giveaway or something because I think <laughs> see-through bags kind of fun. I don't generally like shoulder bags. I actually always end up clutching this, like this. Um, but I think it's just really cute and, you know, it's a fun thing to add. It's a fun bag that's whimsical to add to your collection. But yeah, get a bag. Buy it, whether it's like a dupe or an uh, inspired bag. Buy it from forever for all I care. I mean, even though, right, like all these, everybody has really, all these companies, corporations have terrible practices, like at the end of the day. And uh, let's be real, when people critique like shops like forever, you also have to critique like how well do the artisans at Chanel, at Hermes, at all these different boutiques get treated? Like how, how much is their pay compared to like, they make this $10,000 bag. How much money are they making for a ten thousand dollar bag and it's going to the actual company to the store versus that artisan who spent their life learning you know to make that you know that that crap um and you know if you've ever seen the like savoir fair on youtube it's it's amazing some of the work that that these artisans do to make these bags and and so let's if we're gonna critique people let's not be elitist and all elitist and you know just look at like oh well like all these replica dupe bags like let's actually call out capitalism if you're gonna if you're gonna put you know you're gonna put it out there since a lot of people want to talk shade about folks getting dupes or replica bags or the bags that I've gotten from Amazon <laughs> I don't really care um, I do what I want, like it's my money. But at the end of the day, if you're gonna call out something, you better call it out at every single level and not be selective about like how capitalism doesn't just end, you know, when you think about like the counterfeit goods. Capitalism is part of the whole Chanel industry, the Hermes industry, that's all capitalism, babe. So call it out. But <laughs> that's a whole nother conversation and I don't mind getting political, but I really just wanted to talk about this see-through bag. Um, and kind of show it off and show you my cute little accessories. <laughs> this channel is like everywhere. I'm gonna ask the question like, do you enjoy these conversations, these sit, sit down things and me talking about bags? And I should be talking about shoes because I have a couple of shoes that I wanna talk about. I know some folks have asked me about my Gucci sneakers that I picked up that's a little bit of a size big, but I still enjoy it and I get to use it a lot. Um, so we can do reviews on that. I can also throw shade, um, and 
<laughs> if somebody sends me like a video, like no, like an editing software that's really easy and user friendly, maybe I'll try to start editing. But for now, I just wanted to introduce you my <sighs> Chanel inspired see through PVC bag um, with the reissue or Mademoiselle log. And it's made out of PVC, it's inspired by that $2,600 bag. and. I'm not gonna lie, um, I'm glad I spent 15 bucks on it. I don't feel guilty, it looks cute. I've gotten tons of compliments about it. And honestly, it's not even about the compliments. It's just about having fun with the bag. So thanks for tuning in. Let me know what you think about the, you know, huge price upsell or whatever of these companies, especially when you're selling plastic bags. And let me know what you want to see on this channel because separate from that hair care thing, really, there is no hair care routine. Like, I could lie to y'all and tell you I do this and I do that. I did recently add some things, but it's pretty boring. Um, so if you enjoyed this video, click the down like button since I live for the hate. Nobody ever listens. Write hate comments, that would be great. <laughs> Um, and I guess tune in for the next episode. So hope you have a good rest of your day. Bye Felicities!